What is up guys, Johnny Tsunami01 here with another FIFA 18 video. This is going to be my first top 5 video for FIFA 18. This was going to be the top 5 skill moves in FIFA 18. Before I even get started guys, every single skill move I'm going to be talking about today, I have a tutorial on. So if you want to know more details on how to do this move and when to do this move, make sure to check out those tutorials. But as always guys, make sure to subscribe if you have not done so already because I'm going to have tutorials with you everything in FIFA 18 and make sure to like this video to show your support. At number 5 guys we got the heel to heel flick. There's a tutorial I just recently did on this. You push the right analog stick in the direction you're running and then in the opposite direction. That is a simple skill move, 4 star skill move that you're going to need to use in your game to really be able to push past those Russian defenders and really confuse them. You saw right there, the defender gets extremely confused. Even if you're in tight spaces, near the penalty area, or in the midfield, and you seem like the defenders are all over you, if you do this move a lot of the time, it'll completely confuse those defenders and allow you to blow right by them, as you just saw there with De Bruyne, able to blow right by the defender and score an easy goal. At number four, guys, we got the stop and turn. The stop and turn is the best skill move to do in the wings, and here you're seeing it. You push the right analog stick in the direction you're moving, and then nine degrees in the direction you want to exit to. So here you're seeing it in the wings, extremely effective. It's a four-star skill move, and there you saw the four-star variation of it. Really, really good to get in through the wings while maintaining your speed and taking a really sharp 90 degree angle. That's why it's so killer, especially against those center backs that are overplaying you. This is the move to do. Keep in mind it is quite predictable, so don't do this all the time. There you just saw with Neymar the five star variation called the McGeady spin. Extremely effective, a lot quicker, less of a 90 degree angle, but is a lot smoother and a lot quicker. Extremely effective, and it's also really good to cut in on goal, as you just saw there. At number three, guys, we got the ball roll, which is a simple two star skill move. All you have to do is hold the right analog stick to the left or to the right, depending on which way you want to do the ball roll. This is the best skill move in FIFA 18 to use in the midfield. Absolutely killer in the midfield. You should be using this move a lot to try to get up towards that penalty area, towards those scoring opportunities. Use it with your midfielders. Use it with your attackers. Confuse them. Do it twice, one, one way and then the other way for another ball roll as you just saw there with Vidal. Super effective. At number two, guys, we got the Precision Dribble. It's another move you should be doing a lot in your midfield. It's extremely effective to buy time. You're not really going to blow by defenders with this move. It is going to lose you some speed. You're not going to be able to maintain speed, but you will be able to buy time for your attackers to make those runs and get them the ball. So definitely be using this move quite a lot in your midfield when you're trying to look for those runs, trying to survey the pitch, see who's open. You don't see any runs forming. Take your time. Do some precision dribbling by pressing the back two buttons, the LT and the RT button, or the L2 and the R2 if you're on PlayStation. And it just allows you to be able to survey the pitch, see what the defenders are trying to take away, and then open up those passing lanes while precision dribbling. You can move and get yourself a better angle to do a successful pass. Extremely effective, especially when you're doing it for these situations as you've seen in these examples. At number one, guys, this is the moment we've all been waiting for. We have the fake shot. Here you're seeing me do it. You want to slide your finger from the shooting button to the passing button. If you slide your finger, guys, it is a lot easier. So I definitely recommend if you're having trouble with this, slide your finger. So why is this number one? It has so many uses, guys. The first one you just saw right there. You can come to a complete stop similar to a precision dribble and allow you to survey the pitch and see who's making those runs and wait for those runs to develop. Similar to the precision dribble in this situation, precision dribble might be a little bit better for this type of thing, for waiting for those runs to develop, but this is definitely up there. If not number one, it is number two. And then the great part about this and the reason it is the best skill move, the best thing about the fake shot is his first touch. This is the best first touch in FIFA 18. You just saw it there. When you're in that penalty area, it's really, really difficult because there's a lot of center backs, there's a lot of defenders in a really tight space, and it's really difficult 
difficult for you to do pass and stuff like that. One great way to break that last line of defense is to get the ball to your attacker and then do a first time face shot just before receiving the ball do the face shot and you're able to blow right by them. And then of course in FIFA 18 it's even better because they added the Cruyff turn which is a variation of the fake shot if you push the left analog stick away 180 degrees from the direction you're running while doing the fake shot extremely effective way to switch directions and blow by defenders but that is it guys i hope you guys like this top five video if you did please leave a like comment share with all your friends click on one of these to check out some of my other playlists like my tutorials the rest of my top five videos and my formation guys and don't forget to subscribe